Well, a very warm welcome to all my dear students. I'm so glad to be with you in this time and I'll be taking up your English, that is English for class 5. My name is Ms. Biwekunyovile from Mount Sinai High Secondary School and the book that we will be doing with is the textbook that is prescribed by NCERT. And so we will go with this book today. I have decided to take up chapter 3, that is the three R's to save the planet. The three R's to save the planet. Since today is your first class with me, I know you'll be a little uncomfortable, but I'm reminding all of you and requesting all of you to stay focused. This is going to be a very, very interesting topic for all of you. Because this is a topic that we are going to discuss about picnic. I'm sure you all go for picnics, sometimes with your family, sometimes with your friends around your neighborhood. These are the things that we like a lot. Even me, when I was a student, a young student like you all, I like picnics. We just go out with our light lunch bags that our parents provide for us. And this is something that some of the boys of your age will be doing right now. In, through this story, we, I'll take you. So the topic that I've mentioned is the lesson three in a textbook, the three R's to save the planet. I'm sure you know what is a planet. The planet that we live on is the Earth. We all know that, right? You have studied in your science classes about the planets, the galaxies, and so on. And today we are going to discuss on how we can save the planet Earth. Since you all know that we live on the planet, we also know the problems that our planet is facing. And when I say the planet, it is not only the planet that I'm referring to, it deals with everything that lives in it. And everything means it includes you and me. So we will have to do something. After going through the story, you will be able to understand how you can contribute to save the planet. This is what we are going to discuss. We will be discussing a story that is from the Mapur district, Chate River. When I say Chate River, we know when we talk about picnic, we want to go to the riverside and play with the waters. And that is something that we all want. And the boys here in our story will also be doing the same thing because they are boys of your age. And we will be discussing about an environmentalist. Environmentalist is a person who works to, for the betterment of the environment. We know we always hear of pollution. You know what is pollution, right? Pollution means the thing getting, it may be the water, it may be the Year, the land that is getting polluted day by day. That means it's getting dirtier day by day. And dirt, when I say dirty, it refers to the things which are not good for our health. And you also know that you don't want to live in a dirty environment. And so we will also talk about an environmentalist who works to clean the rivers where we all want to go for a picnic. And so we will be discussing about the environmentalist Mr. Kevi. And we will also be discussing about biodegradable waste. And we also will be discussing a, a lot about picnic. So there were some boys who got their summer vacation. We all hear of summer vacation. This year is a different year. We will not be discussing about that much. But every normal year, we know that we get our summer vacation, especially for the ones living in the low-lying areas or the warmer regions, they get more summer vacation days than the ones in the hilly region. And so these are some things, that, but no matter where your location is, you all get your summer vacations, right? And so this is something some boys have planned. The first person that we are going to discuss about is Mr. George. George might be a very young boy like you. So Mr. George and his friends were planning to go for a picnic. So. All the four boys, we will not, I will not be mentioning all the names here. One boy's name will be Sabu, one boy will be Shilu. And so they were discussing to have a picnic. The, the night before their picnic day was planned, they got together at Shilu's place. Shilu is the name of another boy here. And so they got together. I'm sure you all sit together and make plans for your picnics, right? So the boys are doing the same thing. You cannot just say we are going for a picnic and then hang out around with your friend without any preparations. Because if you do that, you might miss out some things that you need to carry. And when we go for a picnic, we know what is the most important thing, right? Food. We all want to carry food and water. Even if anybody 
doesn't tell you to carry food and water, obviously we will be caring. And if you sit together and discuss with your friends, you will know better what you have to carry so that no two person carries the same stuff. And so they were planning, they might be planning a lot of things like the timing, when they will be moving out, and also they will be discussing the food items that they will carry, and they will be discussing about the plans and the games that they are going to play by the riverside. I'm sure, especially for the boys, they like to swim. And summer vacation, you know, it's, uh, it's in the hot season, so everybody wants to get a deep, they want to get into the water and cool themselves mainly for the ones who are staying in Dimapur or the hotter regions. And so these boys, though, since they are from Dimapur, they wanted to go for a picnic near the riverside, and they have taken Chate River as their picnic spot. See, when I say river, along the banks of the river, we know there are so many spaces where you can play, sandy shores, places where there are no grasses but just sand, so you also find those places, they have decided to go for this and they have planned so many things. What they planned to carry was, they all decided to carry mineral water that is bought from the shop, that can be bought from the shop so, so that they will not have to carry back their water bottles. Many, many a times we don't want to carry our water bottles because it occupies a lot of space or sometimes it's heavy. And so these boys were also, boys like you all, they were planning to carry the things that can be bought from the shop so that they can throw away after they use these things. They also did not plan to cook or carry the home cooked food because they know if they carry that, they have to carry it in their lunch boxes packed by their mothers. Anytime you go for a picnic, your mothers will always pack your water bottles, your lunch and everything ready in your tiffin boxes. And so these boys did not want this. They want something different. Why? Because maybe they are a little lazy like some of us. They were feeling lazy to carry back the stuff. They want to come back with their light backpacks. And so that is the reason why they were planning a lot of things. What they planned was they decided to buy the juices that are available in cans so that they can just drink and throw away. The water, that is the mineral water that can be drank and thrown away, those plastic water bottles. And so they are planning so many things. And they also decided to carry momos back in tin foils. You know, if you go to the restaurants, they always pack food in tin foils, right? Which you can just crush and throw away. And so they are planning all those things so that their bags would be light when they come back. And so they have planned everything the night before the picnic. And the next morning, they were also excited. Can you imagine that sometimes when you have planned for a picnic, you cannot even sleep the night before? I'm sure you all have experienced it. I also have experienced that. So if the next day is picnic, you cannot even sleep. You keep thinking about the picnic the whole night. And even before your alarm rings in the morning, you wake up. You tend to wake up before your alarm clocks. If I ask every one of you right now, I'm sure you will be nodding your head that you have done that. And you cannot even wait for the time. When your bag is ready, you're waiting for the car to carry you out. Or you're waiting for your friends and you get lazy and you get lazy, uh, irritated when the the cars doesn't come on time or when, when your friends don't reach your home on time. These are the things that we all experience. And these boys were also experiencing the same thing, I guess. And so the next day came, they were ready, they started. And then as they journeyed from their place to Chate River, they stopped their car there. And as soon as they reached the bridge, the Patkai bridge, I'm sure many of you will know, many of you will not know, but there is a big bridge just before you enter the Patkai College Road. And so when they reached that bridge, they stopped from there, they carried their backpack and they went down to the river bank. So when they went down, they saw a person sitting by the riverside. They saw that he was poking something. They thought that he was doing something interesting. He was holding a stick maybe. So with that stick, they saw him poking something. They might even have suspected him of fishing. So they they just kept all their things there at the riverbank. They were discussing and when they saw that person, they wanted to go and see what he was doing because they thought that he must be doing a very interesting job. So they decided to go and see. When they went there, they found that he was pulling out some plastic bags, plastic bags and some water bottles, some waste that are in the river. And so the boys went and asked him. He was a majored fellow, a person whom we, you can call uncle. You can imagine your uncles nearby your colony, nearby your house. And so that uncle was picking up something. 
from the river. And when they saw it, they saw that it was the waste. Those were the waste thrown by people, the water bottles, the plastic, plastic bag, and all these things he was gathering. So they asked him whether he finds it interesting or not. And so this person said, it might not be very interesting for many people. I'm sure if I ask you, do you want to pick plastic from the river? When I ask you that, many of you will just don't un understand. You will not understand why I'm asking that because you don't want to go to the dirty riverside and then you picked all those waste. But this person said, uh, for many people, this will not be interesting, but for me, I feel like I have to do it. Because if some people don't clean the river like this, it will be difficult and it will be difficult for the creatures living in the water. You like to go for fishing? Yes. Even whether you know how to fish or not, I'm sure many of us will like to go for fishing in the rivers. It doesn't matter how much you catch or how less you catch it, but there is excitement in that job. And so this is something that this, pers this person had been thinking about. If he does not clean the river, there will be life in the water and those things will, those creatures will find it difficult to survive. That means to live in the, wa in the water. And so that is the reason why he's cleaning. And he began to explain all these things. And then late, he told that he was an environmentalist. As I've mentioned in the first part, environmentalist is a person who works to conserve the environment, to keep the environment clean and healthy. The boys asked him, requested him to come and join the picnic. But this uncle said that he would join them later after he collected this waste. So the boys just went. They were having their fun time. They might be playing some games around. And when they gathered to have their food, their lunch that they have prepared. Now, this uncle also came to join them. And they all had a good time together. That this uncle might be feeling hungry also. He had been working from morning collecting the waste that are found in the river. And so he had been doing all these things. And later when he joined the boys, they had a good time. They were discussing about the things. And when the boys asked him whether he take this work as his full-time job, that means whether he does this every time to earn his living. But he said no, he was a stenographer. Okay, many of you will not know what a stenographer is. A stenographer is a person who writes in shorthand. Shorthand, if you don't know that, I'll just make it very simple. That means in short forms. Example, to write the word T-H-E, you spend time, you have to write three letters, but you can just give a dot in, steno, in shorthand. So and a stenographer, we will not be dealing much with stenographer, but a stenographer is a person who works at per, as personal secretaries. That means they always work with big officers and then they will take down whatever they want to write. This is what he does. But, by, but he says that he's concerned. He is worried for the environment, and that is the reason why he works to clean, keep the environment clean and healthy. He told them that, and he said that he, it might be his... It might be God's plan for him to work as an environmentalist vocationally, but he had taken stenographer, but this did not stop him from being an environmentalist. He says that every morning before he goes to a work or office, like our parents go to office, some parents will go to field, some parents will go to the shop, and we all have different vocations. So this uncle told them that he works as a stenographer, but every morning before he goes to the office, he will clean some portions of the river. He will work in any area to keep the environment clean. So he told them that this is what they do. But after having their lunch together, they enjoyed so much after the discussion, this boys, we're still discussing with him, and then he asked them whether they will throw their waste after their, after their picnic is over and when they are ready to go back home. So these boys were reluctant, but they said yes. Reluctant means not very easily, but they also felt something that they are doing something wrong here. And so these boys gave a reluctant yes together, but this uncle was very polite. He talked to them very nicely. He did not speak rough words. We know we, we don't feel good when somebody talks in a rough manner to us. So this uncle was a very good person, I'm sure. He talked to them in a very 
good manner and then he said that it is not really good and he was saddened. He felt sad to see that the boys were going to throw their waste there and go home. And so he said that it is easy to carry these things, but we should also be careful to take it back home. And as far as possible, he told the boys that they should use their water bottles that are reusable. That means that can be used more than once. Even mineral water bottles can be recycled, but many times, not many times, almost all the time, we throw the bottles around here. And so the uncle told them that it is not good. And see, recycle here, we, you may not know how to recycle it, but if you just collect those mineral water bottles and keep, you can sell it. If you are not aware, you can do this by now. And so this uncle told them about all these things, and the boys also realized that it is their duty. And uncle, this uncle Kivi, their uncle Kivi told them that it is not how old or how young you are. You might just be around 10, 11 years old by now. Some of you will be nine years, but that does not mean you cannot be an environmentalist. I'm not asking every one of you to go and clean the whole of Kohima town or Mon town, Timapur town, whatever. But what you can do is it can be started from your home. You can avoid throwing off waste. And while you are going to school, pick the sweet covers by the streets. There's no need to feel shy there. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You can always forget about yours. You, you have to always throw your waste into the dustbin, but even for the waste that others have thrown. If you really want to be an environmentalist, you can pick it up. And it's not a very difficult job. If you're not getting late, at least you can throw around nine, 10 plastic water bottles even on your way to school. And this is something that their uncle told him because these are not biodegradable. If you throw those plastic waste into the river, it affects the life of the fish. Even the fishes want to live a comfortable li life as we all want it. The uh, organisms, the creatures that are in the river too, needs a peaceful life. And so he said that they can always they can always save the environment, even the life at sea, maybe the forest. If you go to the jungle, you carry some tiffins. Don't throw it there. Take it back home and throw it into the dustbin or recycle it if possible. This is what he taught them. And the boys now realized that they, as a young boy like you, or as a young girl at your age, class five students, you may think that you will start doing this all, all this after you reach class nine, class 10, but start now before it's too late because by the time you reach class nine, 10, there might be a lot of waste collected on the roadside and you don't want to walk across those streets that are dirty, I'm sure. And so from this, even the boys realized that they should not be doing this. They, be, they told their uncle that they would be doing what he had already instructed them. So this is how the boys learned a very good lesson. And they, and they cleaned together, they cleaned the things together with this environmentalist. They learned a lesson. And from that day, they also decided to keep their environments clean. And I'm also requesting all my dear boys and girls who are listening to me right now, please start using your dustbin at, at home. And then if, even if you go out, if, even if it is not your waste, please make sure that you try to pick at least one or two sweet wrappers too. Even at school, you see some friends will just throw things carelessly, but there are some group of students. I've seen it at school, so I'm very happy with those type of students. They always take care to keep the classroom clean. If someone had thrown something mistakenly or even knowingly, there are some people who, who do that. And so they will always pick those things. And we as students, you can, start, you can start contributing to a peaceful environment because by the time you reach the higher level, it might be too late and it should start at home. Now, you, many of us, not many of us, almost all of us are not even coming out of our homes. What we can do is we can help our parents by keeping our homes clean, our rooms clean, and you can also help your mother in disposing the garbages. And if there's anyone who has the habit of throwing waste into the, into the drainages, please tell your parents or even you yourself, stop doing that and you can always throw it into the proper place where the village council or where the town committee has designated, has given you a place. And by doing that, you are doing a very good job to your society and even to yourself, because that will make sure that you are going to have a good future with a clean environment where you all can be healthy. And I'm sure you have learned something from this class. I'll see you again next week. Please stay tuned. Thank you.